G'day, this is Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to look at indentation. Now indentation is the number of spaces or tabs that are used to indent your code uh, and we can see we've got two spaces here and there's two and then there's a further three in this case. So typically in Delphi we have two spaces uh, to in indent and it's multiples of two and if we look at tools, options, uh, in the source options under editor options, we've got our um, block indentation and tab stops. So both are set to two. Uh, generally, we don't use tabs, uh, although we will press the tab key to indent. Uh, Delphi replaces those with spaces. So the most basic way of uh, adjusting the indentation is um, if I wanted to get rid of a extra the extra character in here, I could just use the delete and the down arrow. Um, that's fine for a, a little piece of code like this, but for uh, something a bit more extended, we might want um, uh, something a little bit quicker and easier to do. Now, uh, what you can do is hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and use the mouse to do block select or I can hold shift alt down and do block select and unindent that way. So now I've got the two spaces. Um, we can do a similar mechanism. So if I go uh, one extra and I want to add an indentation, um, I can hold shift alt and highlight. And if I press control C uh, and then control V, uh, I can um, paste in a column of, of text as well. So that, that block indent is quite a handy way of um, changing the indentation of the code. Um, the other, other thing you can do is you can record a macro. Uh, this is kind of a, another sort of um, primitive way of doing it. So I can click on record macro, press delete, press a down arrow, uh, stop recording, and then I can play back that macro or press uh, control shift P I think for playback. Uh, and that can work reasonably well if you've got uh, a lot of code to indent. I just undo that, so we're back to um, two spaces. There are some other keyboard shortcuts. If you highlight a block of text you want to uh, indent or unindent, we can use uh, Control shift u and that will unindent, and Control shift i will indent. Now, from about Delphi XE8 or so onwards, um, you can also use the, the tab key or shift tab key. Just uh, be a, a little bit aware that uh, if I highlight that I can undent, unindent to there, but if I go one further I, I flatten out my uh, relative indentations and if I'm uh, indenting it kind of um, defeats the purpose somewhat. The uh, last mechanism for indenting that I'm going to mention is in the edit menu we have this format source or control D and if I press control D uh, it's gonna prompt us uh, are we really sure and I'm gonna say yes and we'll see that it's um, uh, and remove that extra extra space uh, here if I get control control Z a few times and scroll back up We'll see we're back to three spaces there. Now it is also possible, uh, it doesn't always work, but you can highlight a section of code and go control D and it sometimes um, only reformats that section. We'll see if we come down here, this is still uh, three spaces. If we go control D over the whole file, we see it's reformatted that down to two. So uh, that's a, a number of mechanisms you can uh, use to control your indentation. Um, the format source is definitely very powerful and I should probably mention in the tools options uh, there is a whole bunch of settings uh, for the um, formatting source uh, and you can uh, play around with those. The default set's pretty good, uh, and I'd certainly leave the indentation at 2, 
if you look at most Delphi source code for you under system dot classes and scroll down we'll see it's all all two spaces uh, for indentation uh, most code you find you'll find on the web uh, is also based around that um, so that's all I have to say about indentation you may be wondering what the source code to this does uh, if I run it we'll see that um, it generates fractals and uh, fractals are these infinitely complex mathematical entities um, that exist on the uh, sort of a, a complex plane um, and I can just keep zooming in uh, until I run out of precision on my floating point numbers um, and increase increase that. So it took me about um, uh, five hours to write initially, another hour and a bit to get it ported to Android. Um, so it works pretty good. There's a lot of work to do on it. Uh, it doesn't resize and what have you as yet. So if I resize the form, it's not recalculating. Uh, and I need to adjust the layout somewhat. But I'll be doing that in the future and uh, hopefully I'll make, make a video on, uh, edit, on fractals in a bit more detail. Um, so thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.